one of the people who helped break my show uh, when I was in Houston, performing is on my on the phone right now. Uh, she's an actress, author, philanthropist, and executive producer of Hallmark Movies and Mysteries, a family Christmas gift. Please welcome to Money Making Conversations, my dear friend Holly Robinson Pete. <laughs> Well, good morning. How you doing? Well, first of all, I'm assuming you're in California. No, I'm actually in New York. How about oh, that? Oh, wow. So you're really perky for a reason. <laughs> oh, you, you didn't notice how much more awake I sound? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was yeah, a, I'm on East Coast time. Okay, I'm that's really awesome, 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 here. awesome, awesome. Now, before we get into the movie, uh, which is going to premiere, a family Christmas gift, which is going to premiere uh, December 22nd on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries, 9 p.m. Eastern and uh, Pacific, 8 p.m. Central. Let's talk about uh, the uh, event that I went to. It was the 21st uh, Design Care Gala, the Holly Robb Foundation, uh, the hosted by you and your amazing husband. You know, just... Y'all funny. I'm going to tell you something. You're Rodney Funk. <laughs> we're going to talk about that. So finally, I, I finally came all these years. You know, she don't always send a check. When she reminds me, I send a check. And uh, this you year, always I, support. <laughs> you finally came. I finally, I finally came. I brought my wife. My wife. So now, because I brought my wife, you see us every year now, Holly. She's Yay! Like, she, I knew it. I knew it. I got her there. I knew I would hook she y'all lo- in. She loved it I, so yeah, much. I was so happy to see you guys there. And, then, and first of all, let me say thank you for investing your hard-earned dollars. Uh, into Holly Rod, and we can't do what we do for 20 plus years without people like yourself who's just, you're, you're one of those yes guys, and I mean that in a good way. Like, when I hear a lot of no's in philanthropy because mm-hmm. it's basically creative begging and calling around asking for money <laughs> for your cause. And every single time I think I've just lightly asked you, it's just been, of course, yes, no problem. Where do I send it? So right. I want to thank you for that. And I'm thank just, you. it really did thrill me to see you in the house, actually be able to say your name and see your <laughs> she, face. She is so funny because, you know, she calls out different people who've donated. You know, and she called out my name with the, with the, with the, with the feeling that I wasn't there. Uh, Rashawn McDonald. I say I'm here. Oh, he's here! Because <laughs> she's called I out that name it. so many years. Uh, Rashawn McDonald, crickets, crickets, crickets. Uh huh, uh huh. I'm but here. You, know what? you being there made the big, made such a difference, and it just really, it was just awesome to have you all in the house. Well, first of all, uh, first of all, I'm, I'm, I'm proud to be a part of something. Let's make the announcement that. As we went out on the press release and back in, uh, the, the charity this year raised seven hundred thousand dollars for the Holly Robinson Pete and family uh, that for autism and Parkinson. Correct. Mm-hmm. That's correct. Now, and, you know, we we fell short of our goals, um, but we're going. We we've been trying to hit that million mark for several years now. Mm-hmm. But um, you know what? But we feel like we every year we learn. Right. Every year we get new partners. Right. We have got some new partners this year and we re- we get we get we talk to our partners after we ask them what they think of the right. charity, the event, and we, we build on that. So we're very confident that we're gonna hit that goal next year. Well first of all, uh seven hundred thousand dollars is a, a is a proud number for Rashawn McDonald to say on his show Money Making Conversations. I know your goal is a million. And I'm there to next year to contribute to make sure we get closer to the number or pass that million dollar mark. Because now I know the goal. So you know, I didn't know the yeah. goal. All I did was write a check. So now I know the goal. So my motivation <laughs> has to be different now. You know, my oh, well, my, my, you. my brand awareness. And uh, so, in short, just yeah. tell people about what exactly the foundation does. <clears throat> so Holly Rod Foundation was started uh, like twenty almost 23 years ago, uh, mm-hmm. because of my father. My father, Matthew Robinson, who a lot of people of a certain age will remember as the, the original Gordon on Sesame Street, mm-hmm. which just celebrated its 50th anniversary, which is pretty amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, and my dad was a television pioneer. He was, yes, he was really the first, one of the first black men on TV in that role. I mean, if you, those of you who are over 50 will remember that, you know, there really wasn't much diversity in children's television or television, period, mm-hmm. uh, back then. And my dad came along and really changed the game as the not just the star, Gordon, and the first person you saw in the first episode of Sesame Street, but also an executive producer and somebody who wrote and had made a had a Muppet called Roosevelt Franklin. Right. He really was part of that culture. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, later on, he ended up writing and producing many shows like Sanford and Sons of the Waltons, Eight is Enough, and The Cosby Show. And then 
he um, was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease mm-hmm. at the young age of 48 years old, maybe mm-hmm. even 45, 46. We didn't know what it was yet. Right. Mm-hmm. So he gets Parkinson's. I was a freshman in college. Um, I didn't really know what to do about that. But we later on when I met and married Rodney Pete, he, he helped show me that we needed to start a nonprofit to get the word out because there was not much information about Parkinson's and helping families. So mm-hmm. that's what happened. Then later on, our twins are born. Mm-hmm. RJ was diagnosed with autism, and we knew we had to share, expand our mission to autism. So we help families with compassionate care for both autism and Parkinson's disease. Uh, with the funds that we raised last year, we were able to open RJ's Place, our very first one in Los Angeles, which will help prepare young people on the spectrum to get jobs and right. be in the workforce. So that's what we're doing, and we're really proud of the work we're doing. We have a lot more to go, a lot more things to do. Well, you know, the thing about it is that I, I recommend everybody, um, I'm on the bandwagon in 2019, moving into 2020, uh, the pre-promoted to get the word out early, because I know that's how you mm-hmm. hit the million-dollar mark. You don't get to hit million-dollar mark just just doing an event and walking away. You have to continue to expand the brand, let advertisers know. And that's why I wanted to make this part of the interview. We're going to talk about the uh, the Christmas uh, TV special coming up. But the thing about it, the, what my walk away from the event was that I smiled the whole time. I Aww. had a good time the whole time. Uh, it, it felt like family when RJ came out. That's her son. I came out and dapped up Magic Johnson. That, that felt like a routine that has been happening and part of the presentation and Magic sitting right there front and center for years. It just felt like, mm-hmm. you know, the whole um, the whole uh, the whole setup with uh with Rodney hosting and and you know you know you know you you the you the extreme professional you know you can ad lib and and Rodney you know he knows how to call an he audible he, he knows how to he, right he knows how he, he he knows how to he knows he's gonna get sacked out there he hanging knows, out with you he knows because because backstage I'd be wearing him out because you know because he, he I'm like what happened to you when you're a quarterback you got to be ready for those hot reads those audibles you got to change the call the line of scrimmage because you know some things weren't working in order and I'm like and he was like wait because you know he likes plays he likes right, right. plays I'm like if you don't just roll with the punches so, but we get through. We have a lot of fun on stage, and we do have a, a room full of really amazing people like yourself who understand our mission. And we couldn't do it without you guys. Well, I want to make an announcement because a couple of guests could not be announced that actually performed there, that did an amazing performance. Because at the time, that person was still in com- competition for America's Got Talent. Correct. Mm-hmm, Would mm-hmm. you make the announcement of who that was and uh, why his performance was so amazing? Well, I think many of us saw Cody Lee from America's Got Talent when he went viral. It was something like 30 million views, and I'm not even <laughs> under-exaggerating right. or over-exaggerating. It, it, he, when he sang, came out blind with autism and sang uh, in that audition uh, and busted out with that Donny Hathaway song, we weren't ready. Right. I mean, right. nobody was ready, and it just <laughs> it, it went viral, and it was amazing. And it was really incumbent upon America's Got Talent to really slow down the expectations of that because it was so viral so when he went very viral a lot of people like myself and the whole world were organ were very touched for about you know what was going on so i reached out to cody lee and his mom and they responded and said that the show would allow them a couple of appearances um and that was it because mm-hmm. they were still in mm-hmm. competition mm-hmm. which of course we now know that he ended up winning right. and he chose holly rod to perform um, and he also chose perfectly, they, they made the perfect choices, uh, to perform with Layla Hathaway, which mm-hmm. makes absolute sense. So Layla and I were talking about, you know, we're friends and how amazing this kid is and was. So now he's in Vegas performing, Cody Lee, and um, he's just phenomenal. But he was a game changer, and having him at Design Care was extra, extra special. We also had Cameo perform, mm-hmm. which was extremely amazing. I love Cameo, and thank you, Larry Blackman, for coming. <laughs> um, and the other thing that we loved about Cody Lee that, you know, we really couldn't video, we had to tell everybody they had to put their cameras away, Absolutely. was that when I played him up to Stevie Wonder's Superstitious because he loves Stevie Wonder, um, and I saw him bopping and shaking. I said, well, hold up. He want to sing. So I put the mic in front of his mouth, and he sang Superstition and, and sang every single word, lyric. Right there. Of us right existed. there. Ad-libbed it. Ad-libbed it right on the spot. I mean, the music was pulsating through him, and his mom <laughs> said it was one of the most amazing moments 
that he's ever had. So that was great. I'm so glad you were there to witness that. I, I, that's, that's why I wanted to bring it out. I wanted to make sure that, uh, you know, you're a game changer. You've always been a game changer in my life personally. I've, I've shared a lot of amazing uh, production experiences with you from working on sitcoms with you, as, of talk shows, and, and this but having to come there and see uh, uh, your life's work. That's what I consider your life work because it's personally attached to your your father and your child and Rodney's there in such a loving loving support manner. Your daughter's there. You, you know, it's just, it's just so much that goes on there that you know. Know that Rashawn McDonald is is, is backing you. Rashawn McDonald want to make this announcement now that hey, we made seven hundred thousand. We made seven hundred thousand dollars in contributions to the charity Holly Rock Foundation charity. We're going. Our goal is a million next year. We're going to hit that million mark and. Um, I just wanted to get it out and thank you for inviting me. My wife is going to be there next year, and we're going to have a great time. And uh, good, keep winning, keep winning. Okay. Thank you, Rashawn. Can do without people like you. Appreciate it. Now, when we come back on our next break, we're going to talk about this uh, Christmas movie. This is what she does. She's mm-hmm. an executive producer of it, a uh, Hallmark, and uh, we'll be right back with more Holly Robinson beat. Hi, this is Rashawn McDonald. And you're listening to. Money making conversation. This is what I do. I bring on amazing guests on my show and allow them to communicate about what they do in life. We have a casual conversation. I've, I've noticed that a lot of people who come on the show go, "Wow, this is really a cool interview that you do." That you there's no agenda tied to it. This is about exploring and allowing individuals to speak. And whether it's a, a movie, whether it's a book, whether it's their charity, whether it's their goals in life, and coming on the show and allowing them a moment of motivation for individuals who need to hear this type of advice. My guest has been motivating people for years because guess what? Because her parents are motivated. We didn't speak about her mom, who I love to death. Uh, she's also a groundbreaker in the, in the field of management and agencies and all that stuff. So so, so Holly Robinson-Pete has been surrounded by, I guess, game changers all her life. Now she's executive producing a new movie uh, that will be premiering on Sunday, December 22nd, and is starring uh, one of the great people, uh, moms of my life, singers of my life, R&B superstars of my life, uh, Patti LaBelle. Uh, it's called A Family Christmas Gift. Please welcome back to the show, Holly Robinson-Pete. I'm so happy to be back, and I'm so <laughs> glad to talk about this movie because, I mean, Rashawn, this was a dream come true. I have known Patti LaBelle. We're both Philly girls. I've known her most of my life, and she's been to my wedding. We've celebrated milestones with each other, and, and, and she's somebody who I absolutely adore. Um, I wanted her to be in a Christmas movie with me. <laughs> I, Does, I, she I, I Does she sing? Does she sing? Does she sing? Uh, she sings in the movie because she. So Patty was in a Christmas movie for Hallmark Channel last year. Right, right. She was she was great in it, um, right. and the movie was great, and it rated through the roof. But I was watching along on Twitter, and you know how we are on Twitter, um, and we were saying uh, we didn't see enough of Miss Patty. That was just three three scenes. What? And so we didn't get enough of her. And mm-hmm. so I went to the network and said I need to see more of her. Mm-hmm. And so Patty's like, oh, now listen, child, I don't know if you're going to give me too many lines. I said, no, Patty, you could do it. And we got to get you to sing. we got to get you to bake pies. we got to get you to do the things that we love about you. And um, and the network loved it. And then they you know, allowed me to executive produce it. And so a family Christmas gift will air mm-hmm. um, December 22nd on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries. So that's the other Hallmark they have several Hallmark channels. There's Hallmark right. A channel and there's uh, Hallmark Movies and Mysteries <laughs> and there's Hallmark Drama. So you got to check your local listings and your cable to find Hallmark Movies and Mysteries. But we're so excited about this. And when Miss Patty opens her mouth to sing, it's great. I play her niece. Right. And she's a retired superstar diva mm-hmm. who, who retires in Colorado and, and opens a bed and breakfast. Mm-hmm. And her niece, who's a who has some some issues in the past with her growing up and her childhood, and they resolve those issues in Christmas time. It's a beautiful love story mm-hmm. um, and a Christmas family story, and I'm just very proud of it. Okay, so you're a pretty bossy person. Your personality in this uh, particular, which sets the stage for for a mom, for you know for Patty the oh, character. Oh, are you talking about Holly? Or are you talking about uh, 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 Amber? Well, I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna tell you something about this character. <laughs> this character basically, because I read the description. Patty kind of playing herself, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, you, and you, my friend, are kind of playing yourself, too. So so we went in casting. It was like, I need Holly, I need Patty, okay? So yeah, let's yeah. So let's go do this movie. So so you didn't deviate from the character because of the fact that, but the timing, and it, these movies are so successful because they are emotionally driven and they're tied to people 
going through a change of phase. You know, you 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 evolve an evolution of the character. And that's what this character, that's why you have to be a bossy person now. You have to be this person who, who's just all about business, all about work, all about me, 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 me. And then there's a transition, correct? Yes, you have to. You have to. Um, but what's ironic is that both Patty and I, you know, we, since we do, we are really like family in real life. So that was cool to be able to work together for the first right. time. <laughs> but the character Amber, I mean, listen, I, she's single and childless. So first of all, that ain't me. Right, um, right, so right. I love I loved to do that. I get to have a really great love story um, in this, which I think is really awesome to, to see this black love, especially on a Hallmark channel. Mm-hmm. I think it's really good. And I'm just so thrilled. I think people are going to really, this is going to be a movie that really resonates with everyone. And hopefully we'll start a trilogy and right. a series of movies. Well, that's what it's all about. Now, let's talk about the, the title of executive producer. You also say Rodney's EP in the show as well, right? No, Rodney is EP, was the EP on Meet the Peach, which oh, was Meet our the show. Right, okay, cool. Um, and this is your EP, on, and you are EP channel. in this show. But this was just me, yep, just okay. me. Let's exactly talk about that whole... With Orly Adelson. How does that work? Um, and, it, how does that work, the whole EP and process, the executive producing process of a of a made-for-TV movie? Oh, well, you know, you, you, so you're, in, you're in charge. You're uh, top to bottom. You know, you, it's, and when you're an EP and you're also starring in the movie, you know, you look at things differently. You, right. You're on time. <laughs> make sure you get up early. Yeah, you have more invested in it. You know what I mean? So you, and you, you're, I was looking out for Miss Patty, making sure everybody did right by her. Right. Um, you know, we shoot these movies. A bit, the budgets are not very much, and we have to shoot them in a quick period of time. Right. So right, it's right. very, very hard to, um, to to get them done. There's not much margin for error. So we have to really be on our game every day. We were For several days, we were in the middle of Pemberton, British Columbia, which is in the middle of nowhere. Mm-hmm. And it's it's cold and it's outside and it's uh, it was a lot. So mm-hmm. I love being an EP. I love being in charge. Mm-hmm. Um, it makes me more invested in the movie. Absolutely. So the movie you're talking about, I'm interviewing Holly Robinson Pete. She's the executive producer of a family Christmas gift. Uh, it's an original premiere. It's premiered Sunday, December 22nd on the Hallmark Movies and Mysteries channel. Like you said, there's several channels. So this movie is, is premiering on the Hallmark Movies and Mysteries. Don't worry. Uh, I know she's going to get me uh, social media banners. I'll be posting this on my fan club sending it out to my fan club, sending it on social media, so I definitely promote it now. I know we have Holly Robinson's speech starring in it. We also have Patty LaBelle starring in it, but we have a male lead, the love interest. Uh, I, I, yes, his name it, is Dion Johnstone. He's so, a you know, Canadian actor. Right. Very strong, strong, right. strong, strong actor. He just came off of, like, Othello, playing Othello. And I know. He yeah, rolled I know. into, he's, he's a very good actor. We really, really enjoyed working with him. <laughs> well, you know, because I, you know, I don't want to, like, you know, because she said love interest, you know, so we got to make sure this is romance, so we have to bring up and let her know there's some studly fellow out there, you know, doing his thing, Canadian-based, you know, in King Lear, so it means he's articulate. <laughs> yes, yes. That's King Lear. I said Othello. He would kill me because I'm always mixing him up. Because you like, know, you know, oh, Holly, I be doing my homework now. Come on now. Hey, listen, I, I knew when I came, I knew when I came on money making conversations, you would have all your stuff down because yeah, he was King Lear. Sorry, Dion. I knew it wasn't as sexy as. <laughs> you, know, you know, the fun part about it is when I interview you and whenever you come on the show and we're talking about, it is a family conversation. It is about promoting your brand. It's about, you know, being able to extend, because you have a career. And, a, and and we all know that in Hollywood, there are no guarantees. And if you want to give yeah. people advice, you know, and I know you have, what I, I feel that your support system has been powerful and then the fact that your parents were in the entertainment business your mom is amazing and if we could talk a little bit i've been mentioning several times if you could tell them exactly who your mom is and what she's doing today well because my she's amazing. mom is uh, uh now um you're living in palm springs living her best life at 83 she's really deserved <laughs> deserved and earned everything but you know she came to california in the 70s with two kids fleeing, you know, trying to look for a better life. And she ended up in these rooms where no one looked like her. So she broke through glass ceilings as a talent manager. Her first client was LeVar Burton on the eve of Roots. And she was somebody that just absolutely wouldn't take no for an answer. Um, and so she was able to go on and manage Wesley Snipes and Rosie Perez and mm-hmm. Michael Clark Duncan and, and people that were, you know, really took them to the pinnacle of their careers. Uh, Absolutely. Martin Sheen, um, Charlie Sheen. She's worked with so many people and done some things that she wasn't supposed to do. So when she set off to find this better life, 
uh, from Philly, uh, she really did the, did the daggone thing. So I'm just so proud of her. Um, and now she's in her next chapter, as she says, when she's in Palm Springs. <laughs> she's worked hard. She's hanging out down there. She got her little light. I just gave her the um, Breaking the Glass Ceiling Award uh, awesome. last week from the Palm Springs Women in Film and awesome. Television Organization. So she's still being honored. I'm pushing her to write a book because I think Thank she you. has a, a couple great books in her. Well, she has a lot, but it's a motivation. It's a, it's a light because uh, she's so articulate and she's so personable. And, uh, you know, and if you get near her, she'll, 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 she'll find you a gig, you know, because she'll, yes, make, she'll yes. make a phone call for you right there. I've noticed that a lot. Right. She goes, Rashad, you need some help? That's all right, ma'am. I'm good. You sure? You sure? <laughs> <laughs> so before we leave this show, let's let's give one final wrap up about the uh, the Hallmark movie. Uh, let us know when we can find it. Give us some last-minute details so we can make sure we promote it. And again, congratulations yeah. on your foundation. A family Christmas gift will premiere on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries December 22nd. Everyone, please make sure to watch it. I'm so excited <laughs> about it. And I cannot wait for everyone to see it, starring myself and Patty LaBelle. Uh, it's just such a heartwarming Christmas movie, and I can't wait for everybody to, to check it out. Um, and also, if you want to support Holly Rod Foundation, especially for the holidays, please go to hollyrod.org, H-O-L-L-Y-R-O-D.org, mm-hmm. and, um, and just help us out. We're supporting autism and Parkinson's. Uh, amazing as usual. Thank you for coming on my show. Thank you for allowing Thank me to you. promote your brand. And please tell Rodney hi. And I'll see you guys I next will. year. But of course, we'll talk prior to that because our goal is a million dollars. I'm, I'm putting it out there and we're going to put that yes. on everything. And speak it. And we're going to speak it and we're going to make it happen this year. And I will be there on Front Row again cheering you on my friend with my wife. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Well, uh, I love you guys and thank you for coming. And we're going to I'll be talking to you soon. Okay, I appreciate it. And Happy New Year to you as well. And we'll be promoting the movie December 22nd on Hallmark.